Michael making his way to the mat. Absolutely. Really baiting the crowd into some chance here if he can with uh, with this entrance music. Maybe trying to establish some early heat with the fans. You know, we got a classy audience here tonight. Doesn't seem to be getting much. Absolutely. Landon here coming out of Woodbury, uh, Minnesota, taking on uh, Jake Bauer from Ames, Iowa. Jake Bauer, a really seasoned vet in the local grappling scene, recently has transitioned over to MMA. Um, I faced this guy myself. He's no slouch. Absolutely, both of us, actually. We are both uh, Jake Bauer veterans here. <laughs> but him looking to take the number one contender spot for the welterweight sub-spectrum championship. Um, that match for the title taking place in our main event tonight. Uh, but the winner here is going to fight the, the champion moving on. This is our fourth match on main event. Our, our main card tonight will be contested in the men's advanced 170-pound division. The winner of this match will be the number one contender for the welterweight title and earn a title slip shot against the winner of tonight's main events. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he is a three-time Who's Next Pro champion, holding a sub-spectrum pro record of one win, one loss. Representing Next Level Combat by way of Minneapolis, Minnesota, Landon Weichel. versus Landon Michael. Bauer, the head jiu-jitsu coach and owner of Myriad Submission Fighting, recently became affiliated under Pedigo Submission Fighting. Absolutely, big things coming up there. You know, interesting uh, kind of start to this match. Jake gonna sit guard, Landon follows suit. Jake then electing to play top. Um, and we're seeing a lot of action here. Um, Landon really trying to off balance uh, Jake moving forward here. Jake doing a good job of keeping his base. Landon looking to land. Uh, quick armbar there. Jake Bauer losing to Landon via 14 second armbar last year at the 2022 Summer Showdown. We're going to get some retribution. Absolutely. I think Landon here is a real uh, a dark horse in the welterweight division, holding wins over uh, Jake Bauer, who he's you know, facing right now, as well as Sam Geyer, um, who is challenging for the title in the main event. Um, you know, and, and I think Landon here, you know, if he wins this match, kind of definitely claims his spot as the number one contender. As he rolls over here, he likes to sit guard. One of my favorite guard pulls there. <laughs> you know, I don't, in OBP, I don't know if it's the lighting, I don't know if it's the filters on social media, but every time I see Jake Bauer, he seems to look a little bit more physically intimidating. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, this guy fighting uh, MMA, running his own gym, um, really getting the time, putting in the time, getting the rounds in. And then you could see that experience uh, paying off here. Bauer, Looking for that arm drag. drag. Michael just kind of sits through the butt to escape it. Absolutely. Getting those hips lower than your opponents, kind of killing that arm drag the best way he can. Michael looking to float over. Absolutely. You know, and, and I know we're, we're having a lot of fun here in this scoreless round where uh, Landon is, is kind of doing these somersaults, looking for almost these like more trap, guillotine trap type uh, positions, but giving up the, the top is going to really cost him once the points are live. Looking to kind of invert here, maybe bait into a, a leg lock battle is Landon. And here we go. Bauer inverted, leg entanglement initiated. Absolutely. Michael with the upper hand here has the leg lace. Yeah, looking to get that inside position in the saddle, rolling through Jake Bauer, really doing his best to free that leg, getting the knee line open, and both guys end up in the side of the mat. What a place to reset. Bauer here being heavy on top, pinning down Landon's arm um, to the side. Landon trying to off balance and lift with that butterfly hook. Michael doing a good job keeping that uh, that knee shield vertical in there. That's really hard for you to do sometimes when the knee shield goes vertical. You know, it can be uh, a lot of times you can't smash the leg down as much as you'd like to. Bauer though, 
gets past that knee line. Uh, no underhook established, though. No, actually, I like to kind of take this overhook, maybe, you know, trying to force into a, a, a Darce option in the future here. Ooh, passing over the top of the leg, trying to go to mount, but Landon's doing a really good job of keeping his knees tight to his chest and not letting any space uh, happen there. Balor looking for the Darce. Maybe some kind of front headlock attack. Absolutely, just staying heavy on the head, you know, and, and we're just under 30 seconds until the points are live. Um, you want to start thinking about what your next move is going to be here. Um, if you have a guard pass kind of in the can, you know, don't necessarily want to fire it off yet. As Landon looking for this leg entry into the saddle, Landon ending up a top falling back, and we're going to reset here. Bauer on his feet. Michael on his lower back. Points. Points. Points are now live. Now looking at that leg weave. So he can't quite get the legs fully pinned like you would like to. And, and trying to use this kind of head and arm control. Waiko coming up on top, gonna get two for this. Kind of playing it safe, ending up in kind of a triangle position here. Bauer shooting his hips up, looking to switch off to an omoplata. All right, Bauer with a hand on the foot, maybe think a toe hold. Always keeping those options open. I always got to think that you could use this to sweep as well and get those two points back. Landon going to pop that arm out, kind of establish top control. Just about three minutes left. Landon Weichel up by two. Bauer up in a front headlock. And that's going to give him two points for the reversal. Very easy sweep there. You know, that's, that's something that most people overlook, just coming up on a front headlock you guard. Know. Absolutely, and, and you know, when you've already established the guard and points are live, taking a chance and, and trying to come up, wrestle up with a front headlock, with an arm drag, is really a win-win because if you succeed, you get your two and now you get to play on top. And if you fail, you really just end up back in the guard, which is where you already were. Exactly, exactly. Now we're just looking to step over. That, that top leg of white was a real nuisance for him. Now yeah. floats over on guillotine, though. Yeah, yeah. Looking to use that kind of guillotine trap, that guillotine rollover. Michael doing a great job of staying wily and not allowing uh, uh, Bauer to get control of his neck. Michael really wants um, you know, to, to enter into the legs here. Um, he's allowing that, that butterfly hook to get smashed down so that he can kind of enter into the saddle. Bauer being wise to it, really not letting him establish that, being heavy on that hook and not letting his hips give up enough space to put uh, the saddle in. Yeah, since that early uh, leg entanglement action, Bauer has stayed pretty safe of it. He hasn't had, he hasn't had any of those, those uh, leg entanglement games from Weichel. Doing a great job of staying out of there. Hasn't, uh, I don't think he's fully established a uh, pass yet. So we are tied at two to two. Absolutely, and we are just under two minutes left in this fight. We are going to want to see some more points here and establish a winner, or we're going to have to go to overtime. with that front headlock, just crushing, kind of cradling Michael. Absolutely, doing a good job here uh, of establishing that inside position as Jake Bauer, trying to get rid of these tools that Michael's using um, to establish his guard, coming back up top, trying to weave his legs through and get rid of these hooks, and Michael doing a good job of uh, recovering. Bauer has that, getting some more action now on that knee, getting it pinned a little bit more. Michael recovers though, still keeping that inside position. Double butterfly hooks. And, and with the underhook on the leg as well. All right, Bauer looking for some action now, gonna come around, he's past the knee line. Oh, oh, Bauer does knee on belly, goes to mount. Getting to mount, and it's gonna be two points. Three points here for Jake Bauer. He takes the lead with 30 seconds remaining. Some hard fought points for Jake Bauer. He really earned those fast points there. Absolutely. And kind of wisely backing off here. He feels in danger. All right, Michael coming up on a sweep now. Bauer right into his triangle. 
and this is a good place to be right for the end of the match. Jake Bauer winning this with a score of nine to two. Jake Bauer getting it done here at South Spectrum. Ladies and gentlemen, you're winner by a score of 9-2, and now the number one contender to the welterweight title, Jake Bauer! That's a big win for Bauer. You know, I know he's going to have his uh, eyes set firmly on the main event here to see who walks out as champion, and I know we're all eager to see it as well. Awesome. Give it up one more time for your new welterweight number one contender, Jake Bauer. 